Hello, welcome to my lesson. Today we are going to talk about quadratic equations. So, the form of quadratic equations looks like this. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. a and b and c are real numbers. We know this formula gives us parabola. If we look at a as a leader, that's it, if the leader uh, first gets on the good way, our parabola looks up. Second, if minus a, if our uh, leader leads to harmful way, our parabola will look down. So, be a good leader. x is our variable, so the solution of quadratic equations looks like this. x1, uh, 2, is equal to uh, minus b plus minus uh, square root of discriminant over uh, 2 times a. And uh, <coughs> if our discriminant uh, is <coughs> equal to 0, uh, we have only one solution. Discriminant uh, more than 0, uh, we have only uh, two solutions. And the uh, uh, discriminant is mm, less than zero. We have only zero solutions. Of negative number. Uh, and uh, a formula to calculate discriminant is looks like this. Discriminant is equal to uh, b squared minus 4 times a times c. 2x squared plus cx minus 5 is equal to 0. What we first need to do is to calculate our discriminant. Uh, if it's negative, there um, won't be any solutions and uh, uh, we don't have to solve it anymore. Okay, uh, discriminant is equal to um, c squared minus five, uh, four uh, times two uh, times minus five is equal to uh, c squared will give us uh, nine minus. Uh, 4 uh, times 2 times minus 5 will give us minus uh, 40 uh, is equal to 49. And uh, uh, x1 is equal to minus c plus uh, square root of 49 uh, over uh, 2 times 2 is equal to uh, minus, uh, minus 3 plus 7 uh, over 2, time, uh, uh, 2 times 2 is equal to 4 over 4 uh, is equal to 1 and uh, uh, x2 is equal to 3 minus 3 uh, minus a square root of 49 uh, over 2 times 2 is equal to uh, minus 3 minus 7 over uh, 4 is equal to minus 10 uh, over 4 uh, is equal to minus 5 over 2 and uh, x1 is equal to 1 uh, x2 is equal to minus uh, 5 over 2. 7x squared plus 3x is equal to 0. Uh, and uh, <coughs> this isn't full quadratic equations. Uh, and uh, you could uh, calculate discriminant uh, and uh, do all the uh, other steps. Um, that we um, we did our previous example. 
but we could solve it. First way to do is in this case uh, when we have uh, two x and uh, uh, x square uh, and e x um, uh, it uh, would be take our um, would be take our um, x before uh, parenthesis uh, x uh, times parenthesis seven uh, x plus three. A parenthesis is equal to zero. Why it is? Uh, because we multiply uh, x by seven uh, x, and we multiply x by uh, three. When we have uh, such expression, uh, x is equal to zero, uh, and seven uh, x plus three is equal to zero. Um, and 7x is equal to uh, minus, minus 3. Moving this uh, 3, this both uh, other sides, and, uh, <coughs> and we divide uh, both sides um, of 7, and uh, x uh, is equal to minus 3 um, over 7. So, this is our two solutions, uh, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus uh, 3 over uh, 7. Uh, let's talk about something a bit different. Let's talk about something that uh, called Wegener's terms. Uh, what it basically says, uh, x squared plus px uh, plus um, q. Is equal to uh, is equal to zero, and uh, if we have reduced quadratic equations, that uh, means that before uh, x squared there is one uh, or uh, no number, uh, and uh, we can guess uh, and we can guess our solutions. Uh, we simply can say that x uh, one multiply x2 uh, if uh, the product of our two solutions must be uh, equal to q and uh, uh, next mm, x1 uh, plus x2 uh, uh, our sum of solutions must be uh, minus p I will show you an example um, so let's do just that. Let's say we have uh, an, an equation. Um, what <coughs> an equation? X squared minus four x uh, plus three is equal to zero. Um, what two numbers could we multiply uh, to get three? We could uh, multiply three uh, to one <coughs> and. Uh, x1 multiply x2 uh, is equal to 3 multiply uh, 1 is equal to 3. Um, and uh, x21 um, plus x2 um, is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. And uh, what two numbers could uh, we add to get um, on 5 and 4? Uh, we need negative of numbers, uh, negative 4 is 4. So our guess was right, our solutions x1 uh, is equal to uh, 3, x2 is equal to 1. So x squared plus Five x plus uh, six is equal to zero, and uh, <clears throat> uh, so what uh, two numbers could we multiply to get uh, six? Um, and uh, well, you could multiply three and uh, uh, two. Uh, so x uh, x one uh, multiply x two is equal to uh, two and three. Is equal to uh, six, and we add uh, these two numbers um, x uh, one plus 
plus x2 is equal to 2 plus 3 <coughs> is equal to 5. Uh, and uh, but uh, that's not that we need uh, we need to get negative 5. And uh, this is also not right, but wo uh, what if we multiply uh, minus 2 and uh, multiply minus 3? And uh, <coughs> uh, it also gives us 6. Uh, and uh, <coughs> now, if we add these two numbers, uh, x1, uh, x1 plus x2, uh, is equal to minus uh, 2 plus minus 3 is equal to uh, minus 5 uh, and uh, that is exactly uh, what we need mm, x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 <coughs> our solutions uh, x1 uh, is equal to minus uh, 2 and x2 uh, is equal to uh, 3, minus 3. And so that's it for today. I hope you understood. Uh, see you next lesson.